Hi, boys and girls. Uh, we're going to be doing Study Island this week. And so I'm making this video so that you guys can know how to navigate your assignment. So the first thing to notice is this is the name of the assignment right over here on the corner here, Estimate and Convert Measurements. Uh, the, where it's located on your home page, uh, it's located um, on the right hand side right there. At the end of the video, I'll show you where it's located, or at least I'll try to show you where it's located. Maybe not. Right now, let's focus on what we're looking at and um, how to navigate this page for all my students, um, you know, that kind of thing. So in estimating and converting measurements, you're going to have 10 questions given to you, and you need to pass with a 70%. If you don't pass with 70%, you're required to redo it again until you get 70%. And if you don't do that well, then the system will knock you down to a lower grade level to help you get up to that level. So some features to notice. Uh, do you notice how I, when I click on the tools over here on the green button on the right, where it says save session, it pops a menu down. So if you look closely, there's uh, you can enlarge it. If you can't see it that well, you can or you can make it smaller. So this changes the size. Um, this is kind of cool. One, Leslie worked for 240 minutes. How many hours did she work? A, three hours. B, five hours. C, four hours. D, eight hours. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it does it in Spanish. That's what I would like to know. And then if you're playing it, One. Leslie worked for 200. and you want to stop it, that's the stop button. Um, this is this button here is for removing highlights. And this button here is for highlighting. I see. I think. Now, see, these are the, I'm pushing the answers right now. Okay, so with that, that's fine. Now, the other important thing to notice is there's a conversion chart here, which is on the state test. And so one foot equals 12 inches, one yard equals three feet, one mile is 5,280. And if you look at the bottom, there's the area formulas. The area of a square is, uh, the letter S stands for the side of a square, uh, because when you have a square, all sides are equal. So that's why it's an S. And then there's the rectangle. They use length times width, which is the same as base times height. And then there's parallelogram. So these are the features uh, of the, um, how do I say this? of Study Island. And then there's a comment or a question. If you're taking the test and you have a question, you can enter your question here and you submit your comment. Uh, I'm not sure who that goes to. It might go to me, I don't know. Okay, so these are the tools, right? And at this point, um, I don't think I need tools for this question. Leslie worked for 240 minutes. How many hours did she work? Okay, there's many ways to solve this problem. Uh, I think the first thing to understand is that we were, we we're dealing with minutes, right? And so, let me show you the, the way I would do it. I would ask the question, there's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm trying to figure out, I'm gonna write it out for you guys. So we, at the start of the school year, we learned about equal fractions, right? And so for every uh, one hour, one second, I don't like the way this looks, okay. For every one hour, there's 60 minutes, right? Okay, 
So for every one hour, there's 60 minutes. How many, how many minutes, six, sorry, how many 60 minutes are in 240 minutes? So then you would make it like a division problem. You would take 240 and you would divide it by 60. And that will tell you how many hours there are. Is there a calculator on here? Okay, so in this particular example, the machine does not have a calculator for you. That's fine. I'm gonna cancel out the zeros because they're divisible by 10. And six goes into 24. Well, six goes into six one time. And six goes into 24, eight, uh, six times four is 24, right? 24. So the answer is four hours. Okay. And then you would submit your answer. And I got a crab that pops out and says, wow, I'm excited. Okay, so the next question. Now let's look at the explanation. I want to see how they do it. All right, they did exactly the same way I would do it, right? Just divide it. There are 60 minutes in one hour. To find out how many hours are in 240 minutes, you divide 240 minutes by 60. All right, cool. Pretty awesome. Next question. We have a vase and not much water, right? The bud vase above holds 15 ounces of water when it's full. All right, so they're saying that, when this is filled up, when this is filled up, right, that's equal to 15 ounces. So on a piece of paper, you should write things down like this. That's why I'm showing this to you. Okay, so there's 15 ounces. That's good to know uh, when it's full. Estimate the amount of water currently in the vase. Okay, so we're going to estimate, right? All right, so I'm looking at this. Here's the fun part. You know, I've got the, <laughs> I'm kind of cheating, but I've got the ability to do this, right? It's not fair, really, but it's kind of fun. So you can take this. And I got one, two, three, four. Okay. There's four of them and there's 15. So four goes into 15, close to like four times, give or take. So the approximation that I'm looking at is about three ounces. One ounce is too small, right? So this is what estimating means. To estimate, right here, that keyword right there, right? Um, to estimate is like a, a smart guess, right? A smart guess. So one ounce is too small. 10 ounces is too big because it's 15 ounces. Eight ounces is close to 15. So it has to be three, right? Okay, so let's do three ounces. Well done, okay. About how long is a paper clip? I don't have any paper clips to show you, but they're not that big, right? So this is about understanding the words centimeters, kilometers, millimeters, and meters. I'm curious to see what the tools have for us, right? Let's look at the tools. Are there centimeters in here? There's feet, yards, mile, meter, there's a meter. Okay, so one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Very good. And one meter is approximately close to about three feet. A yard stick and three feet are very similar to each other. So, okay, let's go back to the problem. But how long is a paper clip? Well, it's really small, right? Okay, so a meter is already long. A meter stick is pretty big. And then a centimeter 
is, you know, really small, but 50 is pretty big, right? So I think the key word is millimeter. Kilo is a thousand. Center means a hundred. Center is like a sensory. Kilo is a thousand. Milla means really small, like a, a thousands. So if you get confused, you should look up the word millimeter. Let's look up the word millimeter right now. Ah, look how small it is. One thousandths. Okay, so it is a thousandths, one thousandths. Millimeter. One thousandths of a meter. And if you look at the inches, it's really small. It's less than half an inch. That sounds about right. So the closest number would be that one. I would pick that one. Great job. So it's nice that they have the answers for you. Right, that's a good thing. Tommy has an average sized in-ground swimming pool in his backyard. How much water do you think his pool ho holds? Okay, well, let's take advantage of that worksheet again, right? We've got 15 million cups. That's a lot of cups, right? 45 quarts. Have you ever bought a quart of milk before? Not that big, right? And there's that word milla. So remember, milla means very small, right? On a ruler, a milla, a milla, this is a centimeter. This is one centimeter. And so a millimeter is a little bit smaller than that. And then 10,000 gallons, that sounds like a pretty good number. So again, it's almost like you're guessing, right? It's a smart guess or an estimate. So, you know, I know it's not 45 quarts. That's too small. 15 million cups. That's a, so it's really funny. Nobody really talks in terms of cups, right? So it's about making sense. I think it's gonna be 10,000 gallons. Bravo. Okay. So this is as far as I'm gonna go in the exercise. And I just want you to understand that uh, you can always message me or send, uh, we can talk in class and Zoom. I hope you understand that uh, this is required for you guys for this week. There's 10 questions. Uh, and again, I got the answer right, but check out the explanation. And do you see what it says? It's doing exactly what I did. It's using the information to kind of narrow down your answer. 45 quarts is about 11 gallons. That's too small. 15 million cups is about a million gallons. That's too large. And then 5,000 milliliters is about five liters, which is about one gallon. So you can't swim in that. So 10,000 gallons is the most reasonable answer. And again, this is about estimating. We're not looking for the precise answer. We're looking for you to be able to gauge between big and small. And it's a good, it's a good feature to have in life when you're buying something, okay? Have a, have a nice day, and I look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you.